Welcome back, New Orleans Explorers. If you're interested in this sweet trenchant recovery, mortal refreshment, keen vault kick, spear, or this cool life staff with a refreshing divine embrace, blessed and corrupted bane, or this fire staff with chain fire, refreshing move, and empowering meteor shower, stay tuned and I'll show you how to get them. The mob we'll be fighting is called Angaru of the Duat. It's a ancient type NM. It's in the Temple of Isis in the Cradle of Nu. And I'll show you a quick way to get up here after I show you the gear that I use. I'm using the Mask Mackerel set from the Summer Medley Fair event. Each piece has elemental aversion and refreshing as standard perks and then a random perk. You can craft it. Um, you can buy the patterns off of the trading post and craft it even if you're not 200 armor schools score so it's a pretty good set to get also using the shadow's edge sword just because it's a pretty neat sword for shield but i basically do a combo with this warhammer with trenchant recovery um lightning added as bonus and ancient bane I always use carrot cake uh, cheap honing stone and ancient coating if i have those on hand and if you go up to the side here where i'm getting ready to climb this little set of ladders and then up over the blocks there's um, a couple chests so always run up that way and once you drop down before you get up to Angaru of Dewat, um there's actually like a Colossus in front of you there and an archer gotta clear those out of the way Colossus is actually harder than the uh, elite monster Angaru of Dewat. he's actually pretty easy so you run up here and clear through him. I'll skip through all that. All right, there's the elite mob, and actually behind them is a glyph, the Hemdi glyph. So I'll show you that in a second. Um, this first kill, I get a get the spear on that. So that's probably about my tenth kill. That's a pretty sweet spear with trenchant recovery on there, which is awesome for soloing harder monsters than the mortal refreshment perk and keen bolt kick. All right, this one I'll just show you how easy it is to kill the elite mob and then get the glyph behind him. It's called the Hemdi glyph. And as always, if you find the content helpful, uh, please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell. It's much appreciated. It really helps the channel grow, and it's actually already grown a lot more than I ever thought it would. Yep, there's the Hemdi Glyph, so you can get that wire in the area. I believe it's actually part of a quest chain. Alright, and then this kill I get the Fire Staff. Um, I actually don't get the Life Staff on any of the kills, and so if anybody knows for sure that it drops it, it does say it drops it in the database. Um, please feel free to post that in the comments so we know for sure. But So yeah, I got the Nubian War Fire Staff there. Uh, on this kill coming up, I'll actually show you, you can get a level 600 gear score, legendary weapons and drops as well from these. So it's pretty cool to fight some of these elite mobs just to actually get some cool gear you might be able to sell in the auction house. So this one I get a orange legendary 600 crystalline spear. That's got Lost Bane, Ficious, and Keen Speed on it. After this, I'm going to show you a pretty cool way to kill a lot of these mobs with a nice chain where you don't get hit at all. So you run in, give it a heavy attack, followed by your Armor Breaker, then follow another heavy attack, your Light Attack, Shock Wave, Heavy Attack, then Double Attack on the Mighty Gavel, and then another Heavy Attack, and usually they're killed by then. 